Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're looking at this blacksmith gun safe. It's a pistol safe for storing your weapons safely. It has three different ways to get into it. You can use a key, you can use a code, or you can use a fingerprint. Now it has an updated fingerprint sensor reader and it only takes 1.1 second to open the, the box. So this is how it comes packaged. It comes, is very heavy. This package, uh, it, it feels very robust. So we're gonna get a look at it now. Let's get into it. Okay guys, back to the task at hand. Now this was sent over for review from my friend Eric. I really appreciate. He was uh, watching my last video on the uh, Sig Sauer M17 and he thought this might be a good subject to talk about which he didn't know it but it was on my mind for the next project because if you're going to have a pistol in your house you need a safe way to store it. So let's get a look at it. Comes with the owner's manual. user's manual there with all the stuff. We will get into that. Comes with two side cut keys. Comes with a USB-C power cable so that you can power this up in case you don't have, uh, in case your batteries are dead, you need to access the safe. So let's get a look at it right now. And like I said guys, it is pretty heavy. Which is something that you want it to be heavy. You want it to be robust, sturdy. And I'm liking what I'm seeing right now. Got a nice black crinkle finish and this is what it looks like guys. Sturdy metal construction sealed on all ends. Has a gas strut for opening the door. The door opens up right away. Just like that. Has a cable lock. Like if you wanted to lock this underneath your car seat or something in your utility vehicle, you could lock this to the uh, seat track or something to that effect. And then you could put your weapons in there and have them stored safely in your vehicle. So first question we have is, let's see how the weapon fits in here. So this is a full size, and this is an extended clip, extended magazine. So it takes one full size pistol, or it states that it takes two combat style size pistols. Now you could also put some money in here or whatever documents or anything that you, need, you would like to store safely. And this is a safe way to keep your weapons. So I will have to program the fingerprint reader, put the batteries in here, but there you go. Safe way to get to your weapons. So warnings, shooting hazard. Blacksmith recommends that you should not put inside a gun that has been loaded tip over hazard. A child or adult can tip the safe and be killed or seriously injured. Serious injuries may occur to children and adults if not secured before installation. Children should not play with or around the safe at any time. So you have your keypad, you have a key lock, and you have a fingerprint reader. 
First time to open, prompt. You have two ways to open the new pistol safe. Emergency keys open, external power supply open, factory state, new pistol safe is in the factory state. The original password is 1234. No fingerprint can open the pistol safe before setting. About lock key. When you use the password to open the pistol, the lock key has two functions. Press the lock key for the first time it means wakes up the system. Tell the system that you are ready to enter the password. Press the lock for the second time to confirm the password. Tell the system that your password has been entered. For the electronic system, emergency keys open. When the electronic system is abnormal or the password is forgotten or the battery is exhausted, you can use the emergency key to open the pistol safe. Please store your emergency keys in a safe place. Yeah, so there's where the batteries go right there. There's one. I think that flashlight might be a little too bright. That's better. Pardon my cold, guys. I'm getting over a, getting over something here. And my voice is a little bit off. So bear with me. Okay, so the next battery goes just like that. And they all look to be fully engaged there. And then you got that little dump cover there that covers that door. And that's where the batteries go. So, yep. So this blacksmith gun safe is a pretty nice setup here. So the instructions say, touch the lock to wake it up. One, two, three, four. Hit lock. And there you go. Opens up right away. And we'll try that again for the camera. Wake it up. One, two, three, four. Hit lock. And it opens up. Now, it has this nice gas strut here that opens the lid right away immediately. Yeah, let's put that back in like that. Okay. So here is a full-size M17, same size as the real deal here, and there it is. That is how you can store your weapon in here safely. Let's get this code set here. Fingerprint sensor. <coughs> Okay, emergency keys open, external power supply. Put four AA batteries into the, four AAA batteries into the case. Pay attention to the polarity. Okay, modify password. Enter a new password. So the number of digits that can be set are four to 10 digits. If it's less than four digits or greater than 10, the settings will be unsuccessful. The new password will override the previous password. If a new password is set, but no fingerprint is set, in this case, the new password can be used to open the pistol safe. Any fingerprint is invalid. Conversely, if a new fingerprint is set, but no new password is set, the original factory password becomes invalid. For ease of use, we recommend setting a new password and setting a new fingerprint. After the setting, the pistol safe can be opened with the correct password or the correct fingerprint. 
Okay, make sure the batteries have been installed. If you can't open the door, you can refer to the first time to open. Short press the set button about one second and then release it and you can hear the two beeps and the screen flickers. Enter a new password and end with the lock icon. After entering, you will hear a long beep indicating the password was set successfully. Before closing the door, test whether the new password change was successful. Modifying fingerprint. Place your fingerprint in the center of the scanner. Allow the fingerprint collector to read most of the fingerprint details. Adjust your finger slightly to improve accuracy. Place your finger in the fingerprint recognition area three times. The system will emit a beep each time you place your finger. Okay, the password set. So you hold down the set button and then you put in your new password and you hit lock. And that takes care of that. So that was the password. So now we have to do the fingerprint reader. Okay, short press the set button one second, then release it. Step two, place your fingerprint in the reader and the fingerprint reader works. Okay, that was effortless. So let's give it a try here. Okay, we are locked. There you go. One tenth of a second, guys. Now I've got this sitting up on a book so it would look a little better on camera, but let's put it down on the floor, on the solid surface here because this is quite a uh, quite a heavy unit. It's got some good steel to it. Okay. So this is how it would work. You need to get into your gun safe, fingerprint reader. You are there. You've got it. You've got your weapon. And you are good to go. That unlocks it with the code. And of course we have the key. We have the key. Three ways to get in here. The key back up. Fingerprint reader is the best. I like it. Programming was simple, to the point, no problems whatsoever. Well, let's see if you can get a better look. There's the LED light in there. Shining. Very nice, premium, heavy duty, strong. There's your two mounting locations for mounting it. Should you decide to drill into something permanently. All in all, I like it. I like it a lot. So how does this cable lock work? So it goes in the side right here. Just like that. It's got like a half slot that it only goes in one way. So this half slot goes into this hole right here and then you turn it a little bit and it'll go in the rest of the way and then you would put this thumb screw in that way. Now you would take this cable put it through let's say the uh, seat track on your vehicle somewhere in the back of your SUV or somewhere in the front and then you would put this cable through here Twist it until it goes in the slot. And that is how you could lock it to something. Just like that.
And now if you lost power, if you go to use this and your fingerprint reader didn't work, so you can use an external battery pack. You could also plug it into the wall. So all you would have to do is use this battery pack to plug that in and you could get into your safe again. Just like that. It's that easy guys. Doesn't get much easier than that. This is nice. Fingerprint reader is uh, impeccable. It just does what it's supposed to do. So with this, okay, so if you twist your magazine, I mean, if you twist your pistol just right, you can actually get a full-size pistol in here with an extension on the magazine. I, at first I was putting it in here with taking it out, taking the magazine out, but you don't have to. I'm looking a little bit closer, you just put it in there like that and you are good to go within one tenth of a second you got access and you are ready to go very very nice and this is from blacksmith I'll put a link down below you can pick it up on Amazon should you want to have one I highly recommend it for safety in the home around you know with your family and everything that goes on nowadays you want to keep your weapons safe you don't want anybody that is not authorized to have your weapons so there you have it guys the blacksmith pistol safe and I'm telling you that this is really built really nice Really, I find no fault with it. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, guys, thanks for stopping by the channel. Please excuse my voice because I'm getting over a cold. And I just wanted to share this blacksmith safe with you guys. It's a very exciting review for me because I was wondering how I would lock up weapons, pistols, you know, to keep them safe in the house. And I had been looking in, into this. So thank you, Eric, for sending this over for review. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.